Ladies and gentlemen, hello and thank you for watching. We are now live with the One World Challenge today. The hastening challenge is on display. And our contestant is, um, Sid, the, the helpful adventurer. Well, I'm not too sure how helpful she will be to anyone but herself. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, coming up onto the field with her clicker sword. Now, she does look young, but it looks like from the way she's interacting with the skills today, this is not her first time through this course. She's going straight for the auto attack storm and then a bit of damage. Picking up discharge along the way for some early world bonuses to her damage. The first little slip up, she forgot to actually add automator points to her tree and it looks like she's going first for the purchase gems and then a minimum of stones for everything to work. Of course, she needs to rearrange her hot bar to be in place as she has been practicing up until this point. And then she's off, going through the, going through the first two zones at a neck-breaking speed, slowing down on zone three. She has her auto attack storm started, so her energy should be sustained for some time, allowing her to attack as fast as the wind. And now going towards the Managize node, this is going to be important for her to actually sustain the mana of her auto attack storm. So a little bit, oh. What's this? She does not go for Managize immediately, opting to pick up the Energize node to increase its duration. This must be so that she does not run out of mana before the end of the cooldown. Finally, she's picked up the Managize and she is generating everything she needs. She may be a rookie, but she knows what she's doing. Now, what could be down this path? There isn't much useful, clickable chance is it going to give her much by the end of this world. And neither would boot damage, but oh! But, of course, the mana node. More mana means more effect of the mana dies. Again, she knows where she's going. And, oh, she did not notice that gold pile that's going to cost her some time. She probably could have made it through there much faster, but that seems to not cause too much trouble for the next zone. And it seems like she's heading down the gold path now. Her mana is getting quite low. Will she reach Monogize? She does reach Monogize in time. During the slowdown, we might be able to take a look at what she's actually done with our hot bar here. Uh, I talked with her trainer, it seems like this is something that he's taught her, something to do with a, a different world, demons, and a devil, and I, I don't know. Some person who just wants him to stay and listen. I, I didn't get too much into it, but it seems to work for this person, and that's what matters here. After all, Every athlete has their own rituals and favors that they believe work best for them. Why should this rookie not have her own and not use them as best as she can? Going down the gold path, she did pick up her energized node. She did end up having to use her reload when her mana got too low. So she will be a pretty fencher getting every bit of gold out of every single monster, hoping to increase the overall damage of her equipment and improve the quality of each piece that she obtains. As she makes her way through each individual zone, she's heading for a smart path right here. The next point will be into huge click discount, which doubles the value of any gold that she picks up. And she is going to need every bit of damage she can get before this next encounter. That's right, she's going through zone 24. The zone itself may not be difficult, but after this, the boss of zone 25, many of you know it as being the most difficult boss in any run. And here she is clearing it with these. Look at that damage go. The duration bar is barely even moving and she might even make a personal best at this rate. Now she couldn't swing and click as fast as she would have liked during manage eyes, nor she may have mana issues, but now she can really go at it. A few more seconds, a few more skills. At this point, there's no doubt she will make it, but at what time? 
and she will make it through. Now she's going to need to keep an eye on the levels of her back item. There she goes leveling up so that she has a massive boost in damage at the end. Quickly placing the points into the appropriate uh, damage and gold nodes. But it looks like all of this time has caused her to get behind in the cape upgrade. This is going to cost her seconds, which in any tight race will always determine the winner and the loser. You can definitely see how rookie this young adventurer is and why she's still only a helper and not the hero. Now, this is interesting. She is not going for the Killing Frenzy path, opting to go into the critical damage and crit chance. Now with these boosted nodes, this is a valid option as each node gives roughly 5% crit chance. This will also provide her with a bit, if not unnecessary, Energize node to extend the duration of Energize and Efficiency. Now this can allow her a few mistakes, but remember, she's activating everything herself. No reliance on any automators besides the huge kick and purchases and upgrades. By now, she must have at least 20% crit chance with all those crit nodes. Going into boss of zone 50, this one shouldn't stand much of a challenge to her with all of her multipliers stacking up, increasing her damage substantially. I don't even think that timer moved at all. Now, where is she gonna go next? Back to the auto attack segment, picking up limitless big clicks as well as synchrony. This is going to give her a massive amount of energy. And what is she going to do with that? She goes for Juggernauts. Now, careful now, she has to slow down the amount of picks that she is actually doing for her to be able to keep keep those big pick stacks going. And it looks like she has a bit of trouble with that. Going for more haste, this should help with the amount of picks in between each cast of big clicks. There we go, and it's going to start feeling a lot smoother for her as she goes past zone 67. Checking that she's not slowing down to a cape. No, Lassie, you just aren't doing enough damage. Which is what she's going for next. More auto attack damage, boot damage, and next it looks like she would want to get the critical damage but that will not be happening now and that amazing single single hit kill on that zone 75 boss i believe she is rolling it's only a matter of time before she ends but what's this she forgot to upgrade her back item once more again this is a rookie mistake this is gonna cost her big in the long run i feel like she could have made it much further, but it seems like she's not going to make it for the top values today. Now this is the difference between a rookie and a pro. It seems like she has a long way to go before she is a professional runner. That is not to say that she is not doing well. Of course she is doing well. Just a few more zones, ladies and gentlemen, and she will be on her way to the leaderboard again. And I call it again, rookie mistakes, slowing down from the cape, she could have been here seconds faster, but that's alright, this is the end of the run, on to the final obelisk standing in her way, and she slays it without hesitation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the finish post, the goal posts, the end of the line with a time of 7 minutes and 35 seconds for Sid, the helpful adventurer. An impressive run overall, but too many mistakes adds up and seconds are wasted. No doubt, many more would be able to improve her time, along with the fact she went for the randomized items. She is for sure going to be one of the slower on the podium today. In any case, this was Zach Malowski signing out. Until next time, thank you for watching.